In this video, we're going to look at how we can color clips in Pro Tools 12. All right, so in the last video, we looked at how to color tracks, which we're not going to go over in this video, but a lot of the options are the same, except for our button here that applies this to the actual channel. That's not going to affect our clips. Saturation is not going to affect our clips. Brightness will not affect our clips, but hold will still come into play. So if I have red chosen and I wanna make sure I color red some of these other clips down here, I can of course use hold to hold that color, click on this yellow one, and now my red is still in focus, so I can go ahead and change that to red, okay? So if you don't understand hold, watch that last video. I don't wanna go into all that here. We can also still do things like default, so I'll just shift select these clips here, click default, and that puts them their default color. Now default will be associated with a setting we have up here in setup, preferences, display, and over here under default clip color coding. By default, it will be set to tracks and MIDI channels, but you can change this around. Uh, if you want, we could say tracks and MIDI devices or clip list color, click OK. And you can see how that has an effect there since we don't have a clip list color because we can also color clips in the clip list. And here is our clips list. Over here, you can see those markers right there, which I don't want to get into that here because we're dealing with coloring clips in the track. So if I were to select, say, let me just select some clips there and we'll just make all those yellow. So you can see all those clips that are selected here are going to be yellow. As you can see right there. Okay. Shift select here. And now because of that, again, because of that default setting that we chose the clip list color, now these will follow each other here as you can see. Okay, but let's go on to coloring the clips in tracks. Slide our clips list over there. All right, so let's go ahead and color some of these clips. But first, let me go to Setup Preferences. Let me change this back to the default. You can also select none if you wish and color everything manually. Okay, so there we go. And also, we have the none option. So I'll just select these two clips by just selecting one holding shift and selecting the other one, go to none. And that removes the color from those clips there. We can select all of these and click none. And then none of those would have a color. We can select all of them again, just by dragging there, have the smart tool activated, change all those to yellow. All right, so this is pretty much the same as the last video. What you need to know to color clips is you need to choose from our drop down here, clips in tracks, all right? So if we choose that, this setting doesn't matter. The saturation brightness don't matter. You can still use hold if you want. So if I have this yellow selected and I want to color this green track yellow, but I select this green track, well now green is in focus. So now I have to kind of pick around here and try to find that same yellow color. Well, it's not a problem with hold. Just select that color, hold, then I'll select say this blue, bluish track. Now yellow is still highlighted, so I can just click yellow. And now I have the same color clips. Pretty cool. All right, so We'll deselect hold. Now to color a clip in your track, make sure clips in tracks is selected. Then select the clip simply by clicking on it and change the color. All right, now you can get to your color palette window. If you didn't watch that last video, we could say double click on our strip here to bring that up. We could do the same thing from the mix window, just double click on the strip. And we could also come up here to window and color palette. All of those are the same exact thing. So open up your color palette, make sure clips in tracks is selected. Select your clip and choose your color. So maybe I want to color all of these clips here in the middle, uh, different colors. So I'll just select one, I'll shift click those and we'll change that to sort of a pinkish purple color. And then we can change this one to green. I'll just hold down alt, make a copy of that, change that one to blue, hold down alt, make a copy of that, change that one to green, hold down alt, make a copy of that, change that to, I don't know, say purple. So now you have a nice rainbow effect. You know, coloring your clips can be helpful uh, if you have certain kind of clips that sort of correspond together or, or for whatever reason you may come up with that you want your clips to uh, sort of correspond to each other visually so you know exactly what you're working on or the, or the type of material uh, that you're working on. Of course, you can color the entire clip or the entire track in your channel the uh, same color if you want, which most of you will probably do. You know, that's how most of mine are but it's really just as easy as selecting the clip, make sure clips and tracks is selected, 
and just choose the color. If you want to break up a clip, I'm just going to hit B here, B here, B here, just to add edits there. And I can color these all different colors. So maybe I have my bridge one color, chorus one color, verse one color, so on and so forth. Lots of options you can do with coloring here to make finding exactly what you want to work on that much easier here in Pro Tools by selecting the clip, opening your color palette, which I usually just like to click on a strip there, a color strip. But of course, you can also use the menu, window, and color palette. Select your clip. Once again, make sure clips and tracks is selected and just choose your color. So that is how you color clips in Pro Tools 12.